Let's kickstart the year 2023 by talking about this amazing crypto called the Kilt Protocol. In fact, I don't think there could have been a better crypto to start off the year with because in most cryptos that I talk about, I I dissect their uh, risks, I dissect their concerns, and then they talk about what's great and what's good and so on. Here, large scale risks are almost non-existent. That's very interesting, right? Because almost everything that I saw, uh, you know, there was evidently no risk except for the risk of execution. So that made me feel really great about this crypto, and hence. Uh, you know, here I am talking about it in detail, uh, and probably for the first time I introduce a section called "There's more instead of risks." So let's see what's great about it, what's good, what's uh, you know, what else is great about them, and uh, what should you really be doing to start with, right? What exactly is the Kilt protocol? Well, the Kilt protocol is a blockchain identity protocol for issuing self-sovereign, verifiable credentials and decentralized identifiers. What does that really mean? Well, they're solving. a problem of digital of identity and data ownership right let me explain what is your identity right if somebody were to stop you on the road and ask you who you are right let's say you went to a foreign country somebody asks you who you are then you have to open up your passport and show them and say hey i am so and so i'm from this country and so on that's your identity in your fingerprint is probably your uh, you know the identity that you're born with right around the world we are using fingerprint as a way to identify people then there's a driving license that's another identifier could be an id card of your company and what not so all of these are essentially a broader set of identifiers that make up who you who you really are that moved on evolved and you know today we also use some of our web2 related um, aspects right that's as identifiers your google login is an identifier when you want to log into any website for instance your instagram profile is an identifier let's say you are a travel influencer and you want to tell the world that you're a travel influencer you're probably going to hand out your instagram profile to them for for them to check the youtube channel is an identifier if somebody wants to uh you know if i want to tell people that hey i talk about crypto then i'll probably give my youtube channel and tell and you know that is a way to identify myself as somebody who talks about crypto linkedin is another great identifier because you can quickly look up somebody and see what are their credentials right in fact there's more right what you like right like maybe the food you like the songs you like all that are part of your identity right let's say you are somebody who like thai food or you're somebody who likes pizza you know the, the world knows that or probably advertisers know that because you're liking pizza photos on instagram and that's what instagram is selling to their ads uh, to their advertisers so that's how advertisers are uh, you know targeting you with the right pizza ads so here comes the question of data ownership then there's location what you follow all these things are what web2 companies are using to sell to advertisers to um uh, you know target you with the right ad here is the moral question of data ownership because you at the end of the day don't get anything except targeted ads today in the web3 world we have your blockchain address um, your bitcoin address your ethereum address all of these are identifiers right it could be uh, you know of course it's pseudonymous but still your bitcoin address is an identifier right your eth address is an identifier today right you can use that to log into uh, several games and start playing so what are these guys doing well kilt protocol is trying to solve this whole identity problem right they're trying to bring all your identity in one place they're trying to ensure that you have data ownership they are trying to ensure that you get in some way right uh, rewarded for your data ownership and that's a great problem that they're solving and that I'm truly impressed by that then what's next the next thing is they have a brilliant roadmap right if you go to their roadmap section you'll see that everything from let's say they now the first thing is you have to create a wallet or a container of sorts to hold your identity right that's what they have done then they have created a staking platform for governance then they have created a social kyc here you can attest all your social attributes your email twitter and gradually discord and what not because all of those are your identity right then they're creating a did sign right they have created in fact what that means is you can uh, like how do you sign a document right you do a physical signature well did sign is a way to sign um, on chain right using a digital version of your signature so you can create a did sign then there's a web3 name right you might want to create you know like how vitalik has vitalik.eth right so claim a customized name so that's something that they have done then there is uh, um, asset id so you can 
it is not just individuals that have an identity it, even assets have an identity uh, you know the golden gate bridge has an identity the statue of liberty has an identity the statue of unity has an identity uh, so every single asset in the world also has an identity um now they're also looking at enterprise integration so brilliant roadmap up to the you know quarter 3 of 2023 that's something i'm truly impressed with then the third thing is they are doing an aggregation of digital reviews and attestations um they are, this is very interesting right they have this whole process where you can claim um uh, certain credentials about yourself let's say you say that hey my i'm i'm age 30 or age 29 and somebody verifies this in a tester it's a very interesting process this especially i feel there are very interesting use cases here let's say for instance you're um uh, somebody who does uh, you know a uh, wedding decorations for instance what is uh, a, a great way for to aggregate the, what would you do how do you know if they are good or not you go up and read their reviews online right you look at the ratings that people are giving them so one great thing that can happen with this is reviews and ratings of people can get aggregated into a blockchain and it's immutable and hence this is always going to be there regardless of what happens right this is a great way to shape somebody's identity because you know regardless of whether you're a pizza delivery guy or whether you're uh, you know you cleared um, an exam all of that can be identified and that's something that i feel is really great so all of these you know uh, tend to that clever demand levers right we're looking at so many of these demand levers and they have created uh, they they have created all these products right wallets um uh, and everything else that i just mentioned the social kyc and so on so very clever demand levers to get things going and that's something i am really really happy with so these are the great things about uh, the kilt protocol so what's good about it well the first one is there is a huge governance structure that's already in place right so they have an elaborate uh, way of voting staking uh, treasury proposals and so on so that's something that they have already put in place the team is very experienced that's uh, again something that really counts uh, if you go and look at their team they have a lot of experience building and uh, scaling up uh, successful businesses there are people uh, uh, you know across different spectrum who have come together to try and sort of create this product and that's something that i'm really impressed with also the fact that they have very evidently shown who the founders are who the people behind this whole project is what is their linkedin profiles and so on so that is something that is uh, very good because these days most cryptos have anonymous founders who just trying to scam you of your money uh, this is a uh, very nice things to see then the when you talk about tokenomics there is limited dilution risk here's the interesting thing right that kilt has a maximum supply of about 290 million uh, coins but that supply is going to be uh, is sort of going to come out in a span of something like 60 years um or even more than that uh and if you look at this trajectory of the supply schedule as of today there are about 152 million uh, uh coins and if you look at the supply schedule although this is just maybe 50% of the total supply that is in circulation it is going to take a long time before uh, the rest of the coins even come out in circulation so you're looking at a dilution rate of maybe 6% a year for the next few years and then like uh, half a percent a year after that so dilution rate is extremely low and that's something that's very good about it um early adopters are credible if you go and look at who has already partnered who's using this you'll see uh, let's say one of these is belongs to the german ministry of energy um there's another one which is a german energy market uh, etc there are a lot of these which are very interesting um, organizations who are already using the kilt protocol very credible ones using the kilt protocol um you know like polkadex for instance will implement the kilt for managing their kyc credentials so this i feel is a great start for them great early adopters very credible ones and this will help others to also come forward and start adopting the kilt protocol and here usually i talk about risks but you know there's more good things right the first one is there's extensive white paper okay you can go and check out their white paper they talk very very uh, very much in depth about what they're trying to do why they're doing it and not just that right they are making changes to their white paper as you go along right this is not something that you see very often there are very few projects like for chainlink for instance who who actually do that right very good projects and 109 page white paper talking so much about all this in depth they truly know what they're trying to do at least that's what it really gives out 
a large number of events. Um, this is important from the perspective that these people are coming out, talking to uh, people and you know spreading their word and also you know them in person. So there are online and in-person events that have happened all throughout last year uh, and there's an upcoming uh, yeah, and uh, all throughout last year, the upcoming ones for this year are not even listed, but extensive number of events that have already happened. And, uh, you know, th these are things that go on to prove that they are trying to do something good. Right? Uh, they are a founding fellow of the Polkadot Alliance that keeps popping up here. Um, that's another idea, it's like sort of a feather to their cap. And where I feel Kilt will like really kill it is the fact that NFTs and Kilt is a brilliant combination. Right, when you have um, NFTs coming along with Kilt, we, there are endless possibilities, and that's something that I'm really looking forward to, uh, because Kilt is like literally unifying identity. So at this stage, what should you really be doing? Well, one is do your own research, please. I, you know, can't stress enough on that. Create your own digital identity. You can go on uh, to the Kilt protocol and uh, some of their some of the apps that have, that have been built on top of that, and start creating your own identity. Uh, maybe get your own Web3 name and so on. Uh, so there are staking rewards, so do check that out. If you look at it from a price perspective, right now, Kilt is uh, roughly at a market cap about 53 million, right? Very low, I feel, for a project. I'm not looking at dilute, fully diluted market cap because uh, this is not going to be fully diluted for a very long time. So you can consider the market cap as as of today itself as the market cap. That's about 53 million, and this 53 million. Uh, market cap today is down by almost 95%. So you're looking at a great price point. Kilt, I think, has been down since the time they probably debuted. Uh, you're looking at a crypto that is has great fundamentals, has a great use case, uh, probably very undervalued at this point of time. And that's why I felt that, you know, is, uh, like, could this be the next 100x crypto? Because at 53 million, even 100x from here is about 5 billion uh, or so. And in the next bull run, that's highly possible, right? So that's that's something that uh, you know I'm really pretty excited about in terms of this project. So if you like this video, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends about it, and welcome to the Wave Crypto Club. All through this year, we will keep uh, uh, you know talking about a number of cryptos, especially a lot of small and medium cryptos, to get you ready for that bull run next year. Uh, if you want to be part of the Patreon community, then you can find that link. Join our close community. It's a paid group. We'll talk about. Uh, several interesting 100x cryptos there as well. Um, having said that, welcome to the Wave Crypto Club.